So do you want to know how to draw a series of circles in an angle such that the circle will touch the lines of the angle and it will also touch the other circles? This is what I mean. So if you have an angle like this and you are asked to draw a series of circles, so this is one circle, such that the circle will touch this side and it will also touch the next circle. So you'll be having something like this. So you can see that this is not a perfect circle. So, just for illustration purpose. So, you're going to be having a circle that will be touching each other and it's also be touching the side of the circle. So, welcome to PA Academy and that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So, if you are here to subscribe to PA Academy, uh, please click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Alright, thank you very much if you have just subscribed. So, if you have just subscribed, let me know in the comment section that yes, I've subscribed. Alright, thank you very much. So, now let's get into this video. So the first thing I want to draw is the angle. So uh, yours, depending on, uh, you might be giving the angle to use and stuff like that, but let me just use a random angle. So let me label it, let me call this point A, B and C. So the next thing to do is to bisect this angle BAC. You know, this is an angle here. So let me to bisect it, I'll be using my compass. So once I place it on point A, from point A, I'll draw an arc on line AC and line AB. So I've done a separate video showing how to bisect an angle. So you can check that on technical drawing playlist. So with the same length, I'm still using the same length. On that point, I'll draw another arc. So from their point of intersection, so from their point of intersection, I'll draw a line to point A. So now we've been able to bisect the angle. So the next thing to do is on, on this line B, we are going to draw a line that is perpendicular to line AB. So I'll be using my compass to do that. So when they say a line that is perpendicular, that means a line that is at 90 degrees. So let me take this point from this point. So let me call that point, point D. So from that point D, so let me use my compass to get that, to draw the perpendicular line. So I'll draw the line to touch the bisector. So let me call this point O. Now this line OD will represent the circle, I mean the radius of one of the circle that we are going to be drawing. So now I'll pick my compass and use it to get the length of OD. So I haven't gotten the length of OD, I'll draw a circle. So I'm just going to try to be bold so I can see it properly. So now we already have our first circle. So you can see it's touching line AB and it's also touching line AC. So how do we go about to draw another circle that will touch line AB, line AC and also the circle itself? So to do that, so you pick your ruler and from this point D, you are going to draw a line to touch this circle, where this, uh, this circle is touching the bisector, so it is touching it at this point. So at this point, so let's call this point E. Point E. 
So I'll draw it. So I'll draw a line. So the next thing to do is we are going to draw a line that is parallel to line DE. Okay, so I hope you are seeing all, all the labeling. So we are going to draw a line that is parallel to line DE from this point. So let's call this point. Let's call this point point F. That means where this bisector is touching the circle at this side, at this side. So let's call it point F. So we are going to draw a line that is parallel from point F now, a line from point F to somewhere on line AB to be a parallel to, to this line DE. So this is it. So from that point also, you are going to draw a line that is perpendicular. So let's call that uh, this point, point G. So from point G now, we draw a line that is perpendicular to line AB. So if you are find, finding value in this video, don't forget, just click on subscribe button and then give this video a thumbs up. So, let's call this uh, points, point oh one. So now this O1 to point G represents the radius of the second circle that we are going to be drawing. So you place your compass on point O1 to point G. So I haven't gotten the points, you can draw your circle. Alright, so you can see we already have our second circle touching line line AC, touching line AB, and then touching the first circle. So in order to draw another third circle, we are still going to follow the same step that we did in getting this circle. So let me do one more. So don't forget. So let's call those points. So you can see we have a lot of points in this. So let's call this point, uh, okay, point H. Point H. So we are going to draw a line that is parallel, parallel to FG, that I means parallel to this line FG. So we are going to draw a line parallel from point H to a point on line AB. So let's call, let me call this point I. So I'll bring my compass and draw a line that is perpendicular from point I. So when I say line is perpendicular, that means a line that is at 90 degrees to line AB from that given point. So let's call this O2. So from O2 to point I represent the radius of the third circle that we are going to be drawing. So I'll bring in my compass again. So I'll draw this circle.
all right so if i'm to draw another circle like that so i'll just follow the same the same step to draw the other circle so this is how you go about to draw a series of circle in an angle such that it will touch both sides of the angle and it's also touch other circle so you can see that this makes more sense than the free sketch that i did that i did here so if you have any question with regards to this video just let me know uh, if you're yet subscribed to PA Academy, please click on subscribe button to subscribe. If you find this video helpful, you kindly give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share this video. You can also check our playlist on technical drawing for more videos on that technical drawing. You can and check our website also, paacademy.co. Paacademy.co. And with that, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you very much.